Hey, what's up, Every Nation? PA here with a quick little devotional. You know, um, uh, Romans 8, 31 is a very familiar passage of Scripture. And, and Paul says this, man, if God is for you, who can be against you? Man, if God's for you, if God's on your side, who or what uh, can stand against you? And uh, man, I was, uh, it, with all the headlines of, of just all these wars and rumors of wars going on around the world, uh, I was actually reminded uh, of, uh, man, World War II and Winston Churchill, who had been resisting the Nazis and trying to keep England together, but the United States, we were reluctant uh, to get into the war once again, and except uh, that all changed, changed for the United States on December 7th, when uh, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. And it was in that moment that, that President Roosevelt, he picked up the phone and he called Winston Churchill and he let him know. He says, basically, he said, we're all in the same boat now. In other words, the United States was now engaging uh, the Nazis uh, in World War II. And, and I love, it, like Churchill had been trying to keeping them together, this peace came upon him. And he actually writes in his memoirs, he says this, he says, no American will think it wrong of me to proclaim that hearing the U.S. was on our side was the greatest joy to me. England would live. Britain would live. The rest of the war would simply be about the proper allocating of overwhelming force. I went to bed that night and slept the sleep of the saved and the thankful. I love those words. Man, This with now overwhelming force was being added to the war in a real way. Man, when you receive Jesus Christ into your life, man, the overwhelming force of God on the inside of you, man, is now joined with you. And I want to tell you, man, if God is for you, no one or nothing can stand against you. Have a great week.